like that, you know But I'm the one that eats your pain, I know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja Jordan. For those of you that are new and for my returning Kim folks, what's up? So you guys, in today's video, we are just gonna be sitting down doing some makeup. This is our first sit down and chit chat face to face, you know, no voiceover, okay? So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below if you prefer voiceover or if you prefer the more and you know in person type of vibe so that we can chit chat with one another y'all let me know how y'all like that okay but if you like this makeup look right here go ahead and keep watching all right y'all also let me know what y'all think about this makeup look in the comments down below also don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button and that little bell on the side so that you can be notified each and every time your girl drops a new video okay and um without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so you guys, for my eyebrows lately, I have been using the Morphe um, Chocolate Mousse, and this is their um, their brow cream. I typically use the pencil, but because I've ran out of the pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and use the brow cream. Oh, I mean like it's definitely stamped on there. See that's why I typically like using the pencils because it's not as bold, you know. But I'm not gonna win every battle today, so it's okay. I'll just make a deal with what I got. Okay, so lately I've been using a two different concealers to sculpt out my brows. I've been using the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Medium. And then I've also been using the Morphe Filter Effect um, in the shade Rich 26. So the reason why I've been using these products is <laughs> honestly really because i ran out of my other ones and i've just been refusing to like buy new makeup like, i just been wanting to use what i got like makeup is expensive so i'm just kind of like let's see let's see what you got girl let's see what you got and these two together straight fire for me at least now i go in with the lighter one first and then i'm just gonna highlight underneath my brow right there you can kind of see how it already has like a not a natural highlight that's the only place I just want to highlight right there. Straight like that, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now, I did notice that on this side, my arch is not as high as that one. So I got to be a little careful. And now we're going to go in with that Morphe filter effect concealer in the shade rich 26 all right and then i'm just gonna go in with this shade and i'm going to hit my inner corner right here and then i'm going to outline or sculpt out the top and the reason why i like to use this um concealer is because it's actually closer to my foundation shade but for some reason i don't like to try to use foundation as a concealer or scoping out my brows. So this just, it's just 10 times better in my opinion, you know? I'm letting this set around the eyebrows I'm actually going to go in and start on my face. And to prime our face, we are going to be using the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. Y'all know that this is my favorite, favorite, okay, primer right now. It's affordable. And on top of that, we'll be having the makeup really gripping and doing its thing. 
Okay, and as for the foundation, I'm gonna be going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation in the shade Dark 157W. Now, when I blend out the concealer around my eyebrows, I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush and I am actually going to blend out the lighter part first and then go into the inner corners. Okay, and now for concealer, I'm actually going to be using um, the Fenty Creamy Concealer. Y'all, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite concealer in the entire world. I'm using shade 340, and I'm just going to go in and conceal and highlight all of the areas that I just want that extra pop to be, okay? All right, and I'm just gonna go in with a um, setting brush, and I'm actually just gonna use this to blend out my concealer. I mean, y'all, let's just take a second to look, okay, at how good the blending is, when, especially when you blend with the brush. Like, I'm not saying a beauty blender couldn't get this, but look at what this brush is doing. I mean, like, this is natural right here. This is a natural contouring. Uh, like, look, and I haven't even put on any bronzer or anything like that. Like, baby, <laughs> I'm snatched, okay? Let's continue. Okay, boom, this is the face all uh, blended out, okay? Now, before I go in with any powder or anything like that um, to set my face, I'm actually going to go in and, and use the bronzer on my face just because I feel like my makeup just looks 10 times better if I go in and do my bronzer first and then go in with any loose and setting powder to finish off the look like okay listen my method's been working because things have been looking like so smooth and so good so let me show y'all i am using the fenty beauty coco naughty bronzer and y'all i actually need to grab me some more because my poor bronzer is coming to a ending so if you see this fenty put me on your list help me out help a sister out <laughs> Okay, and my poor brush is coming to an ending. Like, I am using this thing until the wheels fall off, literally. But um, I really like the shape of this brow or this brush. So, this is what I use. 
to um, you know do the um, bronzer around my nose. What is that contouring? It's called it's contour contouring. My bad, y'all. And that's how you know I just love this brush because baby, for me to be still using it, and it looks like this, like that, that's insane. <laughs> But y'all finna see why. Yeah, but y'all finna see why this is my favorite brush. Okay, look. And then if you don't want the line to look harsh, you want it to look a little natural, go ahead, blend down there a little bit. And then down the jawline for a little sharper jawline, okay? Then let's hit that forehead. Let's bronze up around here because all the foundation and the concealer got me looking, you know, like I need a little bit more to the party. Like I need to add a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Revlon color color stay and what is this this is a pressed powder and I'm actually going to go over my contouring with this shade and I know y'all have seen these little sponges especially if you you know watch beauty channels y'all this sponge right here is the truth and I've been using mine a couple of times too but it still does what it needs to do so I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to add some of the pressed powder to the sponge okay and then i'm just gonna go in and just press it into my contouring or not my contouring i'm just gonna press it into my concealer Now for setting powder, we are going to go in with the um, Fenty Pro Filter. This is a mini, so I actually need to go and get me a, um, a bigger one because when I got this, I was like, okay, let me just try it out. And now I tried it out and now I need some more, okay? But um, yeah, this is the shade Cashew and we are gonna go in and just finish setting the rest of our face. Um, and not the rest of our face, but all the places that we just applied the pressed powder to. Now you guys, this is totally, totally, totally optional, but I do this with my makeup because I've been liking my makeup to last all day and to look flawless. Like when I take my photos for you guys, or just in general, I do not like to edit my photos too much. Like I want y'all to see the real look and in order for y'all to get a good real look, Y'all need to be able to see it here. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, the face is definitely coming together, but I'm just gonna keep showing y'all the steps that I do when I do my makeup. You feel me? So let's go ahead and go in with this loose setting powder and do what we do.
Okay, now while this is setting and doing its thing, I'm going to go in and actually get started with the eyes, okay? And to uh, prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer in the shade Tan Sand. I feel like I didn't use like four different concealers since y'all have been watching this video and I really have and I really be using all of these concealers too all right and then I'm just gonna let that dry down a little bit and while that's drying down I'll go ahead and tell y'all the palette that we're going to be using y'all I still feel like I need to use this palette a little more because like I told y'all I'm working on using the things that I have the products that I have first before I go and buy new products so we are going to be using the hell so like, <laughs> we are going to be using the ColourPop peachy palette and today we are going to be using the colors ready or not um, and peach me I think those are the two colors that we are going to be using today just because my outfit isn't really doing a whole lot you know so I don't want my makeup to do a whole lot to take away from the outfit because I just want them to be doing the same amount of work you know <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and blend out um, this concealer on the eyes Okay, so you guys, real quick, I'm going to go in with my NARS Sunset um, setting powder. I actually wish that I had a full face powder, but I don't. But this setting powder is more so like in my foundation shade. And I'm just going to go through and just run through my entire face just to make sure everything is just blending properly and also to get the bake away a little bit before I get started on the eyes. I know y'all probably like this girl uses a lot of powder and I do I do <laughs> you do not have to use all the powders that I'm using I'm just saying you know but all right guys let's go ahead and get started on the eyes now so the first shade that I'm gonna be going in with is the ready or not shade and that is this shade right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that color into my crease line and with this cut with this palette you have to like stamp it first you know really pack it in and then you can go in and blend that's what I've noticed actually ended up just using this color as like a full transition shade because I guess I thought it was going to give off a different shade and it didn't so now I'm just kind of like just going with the flow <laughs> Like, I really thought this was like more of a nudie type of color and is giving real pink, um, like a coral pink. And that's low key not what I was going for, but like I said, I'm going to work with it and let's just see. This might come out better than I'm expecting or thinking, you know? All right, yeah, and I'm just gonna add some to the under eye. Okay, so you guys, now the next shade that we are going to go in with is Peach Me, and we are going to add this to the lid. First of all, this shade right here did not come to play, okay? Did not come to play. <laughs> it 
this whole little situation right here is a little light for me so I'm going to go in with this shade Go Getter and I'm just going to pop that into my outer corner eyelid just to kind of you know add a little bit of color in there. I mean like there's color but a little bit of you know darkness. I just want that to be deep a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and do that same thing to the other side. Okay, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm just not good at talking when I'm doing my eyes because I'll be wanting to concentrate on this. Concentrate. But you guys, I'm just gonna go in with whatever color, whatever product is left over on the brush that I just used to darken up my outer corner. And I'm just going to add some of this color to my bottom. Y'all, I just, I don't even be knowing how to describe what I'm doing. Like, I need to get it together. Like, I don't know if it's if it's nerves or what, but we didn't call it nerves this first time. And this right here is the eye look. I am gonna go in and add um, some eyeliner to my eyelids real quick. And the eyeliner that I am using is the NYX Epic Wear um, Liquid Eyeliner, y'all. Affordable and it's bomb. And it's bomb, okay? And it's bomb. Okay, yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a winged eyeliner. Boom. That's one eye, and let's go ahead and knock out the other. Whew. Our eye liner is done, and while the liner is drying, we are going to go ahead and go in with some blush and highlighter so that we can go ahead and pull this face together, okay? And of course, you guys know my favorite blush to use is the Sephora Tiger Lily, okay, duo blush. And y'all know I like to use a mixture of both shades. Oh, I'm a little crazy with that right here on the middle. But that's okay because I'll diffuse it with a highlighter. Don't worry. Speaking of highlighter, we're going to be using Sephora Golden Hour in, woo, in the shade High Noon. Y'all know this is my go-to right here. Kind of running out, but seems to be the thing these days. And just so you know, I use the other side of the brush that I use for the blush because I really don't like the clean brushes. So I try to use as little as I can so that it's easier for me to wash brushes when I have to wash brushes. <laughs> Okay, now let's go ahead and add some mascara to this look right here. And for the mascara, we are going to be using the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. And we are going to be adding mascara to our top and bottom lashes, okay? This is And now let's go ahead and throw some lashes on. I wonder if you even notice me. 
So y'all, right now my biggest problem is, honestly, is finding a lip liner color. I just ain't got it. Like, I need something that is like a chocolate brown, you know? All right, we're gonna use the, um, yeah, the next lip liner in the shade Cold Brew. Let's see what this color do, okay? <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like I can be a rapper or a poet, one of the two. One of the two, because I have rhymes. I'm not mad at the shade, but I wish that it could be a little deeper. Okay, so this brown is kind of giving what I needed to give, but not truly giving what I really needed to give. So, I'm going to go in with just some black eyeliner and just kind of go in a little bit to see if the two colors can mix together and give me that perfect brown shade that I need, okay? And honestly, y'all, it gave me exactly what I was looking for, okay? Like, I just taught y'all something. Just gave you a whole new little look combo. What you gonna do with it now that you know? <laughs> okay, y'all, and since we've been going with the drugstore look, we are, or with the drugstore makeup, we are going to go in with the L'Oreal, um, what is this? Yeah, the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in the shade 740, which is also Honey Matte. Y'all can get this from your local CVS, Target, anywhere. But I just feel like L'Oreal might be a slept on brand. But we're going to go ahead and give this, this nude lipstick a try, y'all. I'm sure it's going to be just doing its thing like it needs to. Let's go ahead. Let's go in with it. Ooh, y'all, and I love that it's creamy too. Ooh, they did something with this. But y'all, this is the look pretty much. This is the look. Let's go ahead and spray it down with this Morphe setting spray. Let's just lock this look in, okay? So I like more of a mist instead of a spray because a mist is like, ooh, refreshing. A spray is all like, ooh, you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead, stick with the mist, get with the mist. You guys can get this at Ulta Beauty. And when I tell y'all it's the bomb.com, it's the bomb.com. So it's worth the dollar, okay? Get you some. All right, and the makeup is done. The hair, this is the makeup, you guys. Let me know what y'all think about this look down in the comments below. And if you like this look, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are not a part of the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell on the side so that you can be notified each and every time your girl drops a new video, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. May peace and love be multiplied. Until next time, Kim folks, peace.